We are sadly getting ready to say goodbye to Florida for a good long while. We're gonna miss our friends, our family, everybody so much that we met down here. All the people that have just come into our life and the people at Raining Berries, we're gonna miss you all so much. And it feels hard leaving Florida. This is one of the big things about van life is that, well, now we used to move so fast. It'd be like one night, one week, that's it. But now that we have Everly, we're moving a lot slower. So this time in Florida has been almost three months. So you really do get into a routine. You have your people, you have, you know, the things that you get used to, the things that you do every day. And so it's weird switching that up. Groceries. Putting the bumper back together. <laughs> Organizing. Laundry. Meal and snack prep. And we're grabbing all of the stuff out of the garage. We have acquired a couple of extra things since being in Florida. And our van was already pretty full on the way down, so acquiring extra things was a bad idea. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we had thought that we would be purchasing a bus and that we would put all the stuff into the bus and then the bus would be our way to get home with all the new stuff, but we've been looking for a bus and we haven't found one that we like yet. And we'll keep you updated on that, so stay tuned. The original solution was to get a U-Haul trailer to tow behind. There is a tow hitch on here. Um, but that was gonna be like 500 bucks. And also I'm kind of glad that we didn't do that because I just realized that one of the welds on here or actually the bumper itself is kind of like pulling away. Uh -uh. So I think we'll have like just enough bumper or maybe not. What do you mean? To hold these bikes up. Oh no. So we ended up buying this on Facebook Marketplace for $65 and we're making it work. And it's also rusty. The guy didn't mention that in his listing. Either it's gonna do its job or these bikes are gonna become highway trash. Oh, well, hopefully not. I, I really wanna keep these bikes. When we originally purchased Sunny, there was actually a tray on the back, just like this one. And we found it so annoying because it made the van so much longer. And we were like, this is stupid. Why would anybody ever want this? Dum, dum, dum. And now we put it back on. Now we have one ourselves. Who was dumb? Boy, is you a sailor? Cause you got knots. I'll tell you what. My knots are getting way better. I did some box knots, I did some oh. loop swoop and pulley knots. I don't even know. He can't even tie his shoes like an adult. I mean, Mom, he's, he's a knot expert. Are you a loop swoop and pull or a bunny ears? Let us know. Honestly, if somebody came over to try to steal what's on the back of this, they'd be like, oh, I guess I gotta cut this, and I gotta cut that, I gotta cut that, oh, I gotta cut this inside, I gotta cut that, and I gotta pull cut that. Yeah, it's just not even worth it, I feel like. It would take a while just to get to the bikes. Are you excited? Who are we gonna go see? Who are we gonna go see? What's even in here? What are we even thinking? Winter stuff. You want me to go back into the Oh, room? the baby's first bed. Fuck. No, get out of there. <laughs> you would think that living in a van means that you can just pick up and go whenever you want. But for some reason, it takes almost two days to get our butts in gear. We spent a lot of time yesterday cleaning and moving things and doing stuff, and then today again, all day long. Feel like a good shower, a good meal, and a good night's sleep, and we're gonna hit the road first thing in the morning. Hopefully, as long as we didn't forget other things that we were supposed to do. Okay, we'll see you then. This doesn't fit. Thanks, just finishing up the last things outside. I woke up today with a really super great headache. Put it in the bathroom, baby. Keeping her out of her car seat for as long as possible. We said goodbye to the whole family this morning, which was bittersweet. We're gonna hopefully see them in Canada this summer. You're the best, Frank. Thanks, baby. Quite literally, I tried. You succeed. You know, we had to make one last stop at Raining Berries. Frank loves their coffee so much. And I'm gonna have a really strong tea. Are you gonna miss us, Chrissy? I'm gonna miss everything. <laughs> Bye, baby.
problem right here is on the back side where the bumper actually is being welded into the frame. That part there, the welds around it have like broken. Now the bumper is kind of falling into the into that piece. So you can see it right there, right on that little bottom edge. It's starting to fall into it. And it's doing the same thing on the other side. So uh, yeah, this bumper is gonna have to be replaced. Good thing it's just a couple bolts to replace the bumper, but the hard part is finding the bumper. Well, and now we can't use this sweet $65 rack setup that we got. So we're gonna have to figure out something else for the bikes. I think we're gonna leave one here in Florida and take one inside the van and just crawl over it the whole drive home. But imagine if we were towing a U-Haul. If we were towing a $500 U-Haul, that's why I said get the insurance. <laughs> Just that one little bump leaving the driveway. And this fell off. I'm glad that it happened before we were on the highway. And now we're just gonna deal with it before we leave town. I guess we can say thanks to my dad because that dime. Yeah, we found 11 cents this morning. A dime and a penny. And that's Frank's dad. He was like, don't use that bumper. <laughs> This is unfortunately how it's gonna be. We have the same snack dilemma as we did in the trailer. Because the dang bumper. How does it look now? Still sagging a bit. The bumper's still sagging? Yeah, but it's like just angled. It doesn't look bad. Why? Like you can't tell. It's not gonna fall off. No, it's not gonna fall off, but it just, you know, now it's like at a 45 and 790. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah. Does it sound on? Okay, let's go. Does it sound on? Do you hear? <laughs> it's just she purrs so quietly. I didn't realize it's like a hybrid. That's how it sounds. What did I forget, babe? Uh, yeah, that that one is the old one. Paco don't like that. Oh, it's because it's in the house. Wait, what do you mean? I don't understand. How? Are we going to go back and get it? Uh, we don't need it anymore. I mean, unless we send them both back. So we should just go back and get it. We can send them both back. Okay. okay. Back to the house, and then we're going to leave. Straight to the frame of the vehicle. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, ours was not like that. Such nice people. I love rest areas. Look at the baby smiling. Look at him. and we're kind of chilling for 10 minutes or so. I always check the oil and make sure that we're like at the right level. It's pretty good. It's nice and clean too. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's good. It gets hot in here. We are at our first fill up. The last I don't even know how, maybe it's been 10 minutes, maybe it's been two hours. She's just been very unhappy. So if you can hear some nursery rhymes going on in the background, try to get her to not be screaming. 
When we did the drive down, she was three months younger and she did have a couple of episodes, but she was also sleeping a lot longer during the day than she is now. Now she's awake a lot of the day, which means she doesn't want to be in her car seat. What rhymes with duck? What rhymes with duck? What rhymes with duck? It must be Chuck. Rest area number two. It's been about an hour. Oh, no, 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 no. We had some grape snacks. She was half good, half, you know, difficult. Okay. But we definitely have a poopy diaper, so that is first to deal with. And then, hopefully by the time we're done lunch, she's ready to go down for a nap, and then she'll sleep. Help. Is that funny? Is that funny? Is that funny? Your mommy's so tired. Is that so funny? Is that so funny? Ay, ay, ay. We're gonna sit down and eat. It's about three o'clock. And on the GPS, it says we have another like seven and a half to eight hours left of driving. We'll probably drive for like another two more hours today, but we really want to get Everly out and let her, uh, you know, work her little legs and, and get the motion going because that's what babies need. Look, she's waving. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Say hi. One of the hardest things in life is just to say goodbye to people. Um, I try to look at it as like, I'll see you later because saying goodbye just always feels so sad. So if we say see you later, then maybe we won't cry as hard. My sister cried really hard after we left and I was kind of crying when I was saying bye to my sister. We didn't get to capture that because we were kind of like in a back trash room trying to throw out that hitch piece. <laughs> so luckily we have the restaurant, so we were able to toss that free of charge instead of having to bring it somewhere. But yeah, saying goodbye is hard. So we just try to say see you later. What'd you bring for lunch, honey? Well, oh, not we that plate, that plate. We didn't need you, you have a caterpillar on you. Oh, do that? Look at him go. He's off. All right, Frank, get excited. Ooh, what we got, what we got? We're gonna start off with a hard boiled egg. Okay. And then your favorite. Oh, what's this? Pasta salad. This is about as sad as a goodbye. See, I feel like we need to start with the hard boiled egg, get it in ya. <laughs> Fill your body up. You know, we gotta, we're eating for sustenance and energy and longevity, not flavor. Okay, okay. I'm sure Some it's gonna be really delicious. people really like hard boiled though. egg. I'm sure this is gonna be delicious. I think so. Maybe we just share one hard boiled egg. Okay. Instead of one. There's so many gnats here, it's crazy. Marco definitely wants some. No? Even he's like, ew, hard boiled egg. That's very good. It's okay. I'm not a potato salad fan. Good thing it's not potato salad. Or, um, what was it called again? I'm so shocked. Looks like that he either has like a bad battery cell or a bad alternator or a bad solder, one of the three. Frank is the unofficial mayor of every parking lot that we go to and so in his capacity as mayor, he needs to assist everyone no, who no, looks no. like they might be in need of it's not a, It's not about that. It's about like... You like we cars? Were to, if we were to break down, I would want somebody to stop and try to help us. A thousand percent. You know what I mean? So it's just like a pay it forward kind of thing. But you are the mayor of the parking lot. Am I? What happened to her onion? <gasps> she dropped her onion! 
that's garbage now. I know. Oh, also, I thought I had the wrist strap on the GoPro, and then I just let go of it to do the hundred other things I was taking care of. And uh, the GoPro fell. I would have helped you, but you don't want to wait? Hey, got things to do. As the mayor's wife, there's a lot going on. Hi, he's <laughs> Just like that, Florida's now in our past. Damn, so surreal. It's time for a fitness break. Oh. Sit. Up. Oh. Sit. Up. 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 Yeah. Oh, hey. That goes too. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, love you. Um, and then I feel like there was something else. Oh, Alex, are you still on the phone? Yep. Hey, where are we? Can you tell them where we are? Say, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> it's our first night at a Cracker Barrel. How exciting. Um, is it? We're only gonna be here for a couple of hours. Yeah, just a I look like I've had a day with this baby. We'll say this. We'll be here for a couple hours or the night. It just depends on the baby. Yeah. The loose plan as of now is to oh. hang out for a bit, have some dinner, let her play, we go for a walk around the Lowe's parking lot, so scenic. Once she's good and ready for like a good night's sleep, we will hit the road again because we're two hours away from a very interesting destination and it would be nice to just kind of like wake up there. So I'm gonna do some recon on iOverlander and see if there's any spots by there. I feel and like then... there's gonna be nothing there. That's just my opinion. Uh, at least we'll be like an hour or two closer because we're two hours and 45 minutes away yeah. from there and I'd rather not do that when she's full awake in the bright of day. Yeah, it wouldn't be great. Okay. I know it's like normally more of a morning destination, I guess, but this place is like... <laughs> you got some good sleep tonight. We're not sleeping here. As we go further north, it's going to get colder. As you can tell, we're already in sweatshirts, which is kind of wild because if it was nighttime in Florida, we would just be wearing like tank tops. <laughs> but we're gonna have to get propane because of that. We're gonna have to make sure we're topped off. If we're using the heat, we only get like four, maybe max five days out of the propane tank. And the fridge is running on it right now too. Mm -hmm. Fridge, that, cooktop, everything. So we definitely need propane. Let's go to the Cracker Barrel. Let's go look at the stuff inside. We're not like quite empty yet on propane. Well, I think maybe you should check because we have two tanks and they're wired as such, wired plumbed. I don't know how you do tanks, but that you wouldn't know if one was empty until they're both empty, right? No, because I have one closed, one open. Do you? So the first one still got propane in it. Who knows? It's been a while since I checked. We haven't really been using it. So maybe you already switched the first tank off. I don't know, I don't think so. Well, maybe you should check. Because if we have one empty tank and one almost empty tank, then, then we'll have- will be good for tonight. <laughs> well, howdy, y'all. Well, did you miss me? Go on and say I told you so. All right, guys, are we gonna drive somewhere tonight? I see it as a yes! Oh, get ready for it, Frank. Babe, I'm on an African safari right now. Cool. I don't know about you, Bob. This is really good, high quality, too. So, here we are, Cracker Barrel. And uh, I go inside just to look at some stuff. And I wind up buying a harmonica, which I was like, oh, that would be a fun little instrument to learn to play. Ten bucks, you know? And then I got free appetizer because of it. Because I signed up for the rewards. That was pretty dope. 
and you could like get some more rewards and play the games and blah 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 and then next thing you know you get some free stuff when you're at Cracker Barrel and if you're parked up here it's kind of perfect so and I also tipped the lady because she was really nice I figured since it was just an appetizer that I would do some scrambled eggs to go with it I don't know we're having like tater tots and scrambled eggs it's breakfast for dinner let's go and this one stayed awake Yay. Don't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's not bad. I could see how this could make you go on the toilet pretty quickly. <laughs> Worth it? I think so. <laughs> Yo, this is the real deal trick right here. You get the loaded tots, and then <laughs> after you get the loaded tots, you get throw eggs on it and some avocado, and you got a somewhat healthy meal. <sighs> I really wish, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> but I really wish that bike rack worked, cause uh, Oh my God, I was thinking the, the same thing. The space would be thing. so much better if it wasn't for that bike being I was like, oh, it would have been so luxurious to be traveling, and now it's like a little bit of a pain in the behind. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna skip the tots. Leave those for Frank and just go with the basics. That's right, don't touch my tots. I don't need that cheesiness. Oh. All right, we're gonna chill for an hour or so and then hit the road again. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. Frank so, doesn't want to commit. Kind of feeling pretty tired, so. We're gonna like relax. You're in the drive? I'm gonna stroke the hair gently for the next 45 minutes. If you do, I'll fall asleep. <laughs> We always do our morning checks, and this morning we have a special guest. We have Everly with us. She's going to be learning how to do the checks every morning. Uh, we just do this when we go on big travels. Ever since we had this engine go on us, we're just making sure that we always have oil in her and that's nice and topped off. Uh, we should have no issues at all. There's no leaking, no nothing happening when it comes to that. But I like to double check it now just for like safety purposes. All right, baby girl. You're going to learn how to check oil. Maybe you see this little dipstick right here? Yeah, right there. Yeah, pull that one. Level. Make sure it looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Nice and full. Has a nice color to it. Still sticky, which is what you want. You want like a nice viscosity is what it's called. Thanks to the driving that Frank did last night, we are one hour away from looking at a school bus to potentially purchase. If we do purchase it, we have no idea how we're going to do the paperwork and things like that, but that's a problem for another day. Today, we're just gonna go check it out and see if it's one that we would actually even wanna buy. So let's get over there. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I don't know how I eat this and drive. Well, good luck. I wanted to buy like little yogurt cups because I was like, oh, that'll be like a quick whatever. They all have so much sugar in them. I'm like, what? it's like literally buying like a sugar pudding. I just want yogurt and fruit. Why does it have to have 100 different things in it? We're on our third tank of gas. This one is only $32. Alabama's gas is under $3. How nice is that? On to our next adventure. We'll see that bus maybe soon, maybe not. Who knows? You're gonna have to wait and find out if we do. Everly is 
sleeping tight back there. And so we're not stopping this car unless we run out of fuel or she wakes up. Or overheat. <laughs> well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Nah, we're running pretty cool right now. So. Yeah, so, and actually the air coming through the system is really cool right now. We're talking about how this cab here actually keeps the area really nice and cool, and it's just a beautiful day for a drive, so. And I was joking about the overheating. We're gonna take our time. He's just always worried about it. We've been going up and down some pretty good hills here, so. Sunny's doing great. I'm doing great. Frank's doing great. Ellie's doing great. Paco's doing great. I'm pretty great. And we got a great place to be this evening, so. We're very excited to go meet up with our friends. Yeah. I was gonna say, it's gonna be a step up from the Walmart, but it's gonna be lots of steps up from yeah. the Walmart. Hungry for the road all my life. Thirsty for adventure all my youth. Chasing all my freedoms down Liberty Avenue And every time I hear a phrase My mother used to say to me Everything happens for a reason I get the feeling I need we have made it to the Love's Truck Stop. We're gonna fuel up. We use Get Upside. We're getting, I think, 10 cents back a liter. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Okay. Probably do a little lunch break, get her out of the car seat for a little bit too. And yeah, she's been pretty good. She woke up maybe like half an hour ago. I was just chilling and playing with her toys and stuff. Um, so we're gonna do some exercise, some baby exercise. And then, uh, I don't think we're too far, maybe another two hours from uh, our final destination of this leg of the road trip. Are you driving? Oh my Are God. you driving? You gotta look at the, yeah, okay, good. Cause if you look back here, oh, don't get distracted, look forward. She's like, whoa, what's he doing down there? She's drinking water, buddy. That's really hot water, buddy. It's time for pasta salad. But Frank and I made a bargain. We made a bargain that if I could use the change that we have in this huge change thing, there's a lot of change still up there, I could buy myself a burger. And that's what I did. So now he's having a burger with pasta salad on the side. I thought that this was all gonna be for me then and I was pretty excited about it. But apparently Frank wants both because he just loves the sweet taste of pasta salad. No, because I know that one burger is not gonna fill me up. You know what, you can have the pasta salad, I don't want it. Did you smell it? And then you were like... Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited! Oh man, we have not to see our friends. We haven't seen in like a year. I can't believe it's been that long. It's been almost exactly a year. It's kind of wild. Well, that hurt my body to lean like that. I definitely spend most of my time back here. I really woke up about five minutes ago and we got five minutes left of this drive, so I say that's perfect timing. Someone woke up very happy. Yeah, you Who would have thought we'd be rolling back in here with the Toyota? Whoever would have thought. I would have I thought we were selling this piece. The last that's time this great. van was in here, it got rolled in on a tow bed. And then she got her engine changed out. Thousands of miles later, she's back. Hola amigos! <laughs> What's going on? Hi everybody! Hey, Hi! We're so excited. Can you believe it? We saw you when you were like probably the yes. strong pregnant. It was almost a year ago. Yeah. I know. It's true. And now we have April, Everly yeah. here and now we have Baby Boy here. Oh. And Isla's walking around. And Isla's, yes. She was just a little chippy <laughs> baby. I know. She was literally like the same, like starting to eat. Yes. Yeah. Seating, you remember? Oh, oh that's my crazy. gosh. How weird. Time flies, right? It's been a whole year. Insane. Crazy. Who wants a baby? Oh, I, <laughs> I love the baby. Oh, Emily. Hi, Bobo. Yeah, where are you? Yo, this is the kind of bus we need, Frank. Oh, I don't gosh. know. This is a lot of space. This is a lot of bus. Good job! Yeah. Yeah. Air conditioner, 
Yeah. And then washer, washing machine. Okay. Storage, whatever thing, whatever. Wall, wherever this gray tape mm -hmm. is, green tape wall. And then we walk into the kids' room. Okay. So here will be like bunk beds either, or like one here and one here. Mm -hmm. And then storage on the top or the bottom, I don't know yet. And then here like changing table for the baby. Baby <laughs> stuff. So then we go through the hallway and then here's the bathroom. Okay. In the bathroom we had an original plan, but now that plan is kind of changing. The doors stay in. Okay. We're gonna find a way to- with a view. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna find like a way it. to like, you know, keep it lo kind of locked. The doors aren't done because we're gonna insulate. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna insulate and then yeah. we're gonna- Imagine you taking a poo and somebody, and somebody opens the door on you. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, by the way, would you give me toilet paper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then here eventually will be like a deck. Okay. We can like, mm -hmm. you know, fold out. Yeah, it's like beautiful. That. And then so we walk down the hall. We walk here. Here we go. TV. Nice. Sofa area. Nice. Uh, and then we go to the kitchen. So uh, we're going to have a big pantry, like a tall pantry. Mm -hmm. And then cooktop oven. Mm -hmm. Sink. Dishwasher. Okay. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. Yeah. Did you just hear Dishwasher that? Dishwasher and washer dryer. And look how many fridges they have. <laughs> Two fridges. <laughs> Sink, fridge, and then here will be yeah. kind of like coffee area. So the coffee machine, cool. blah, blah, blah. And then we're thinking to do an L shape. Okay. So we have like a little countertop there oh, that yeah. we can have like stools and seat. I gotta say, she's like Devolution Derby. Oh, she no, just like no, ran no, into no. me with no Care in the world. No, she's like no. so active. And that's why I was like, I hope she didn't drink any of that. <laughs> I think Isla might have uh, drank a little bit of my Red Bull. <laughs> no, no, she didn't. <laughs> It's always hard to say goodbye, but when you live in a van, that just means it's time to say hello to new friends and new adventures. The best part was sitting on a pizza. I have pizza. 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 Pizza.